All right, now I'm going to set up a template to use as a starting point, working in the window indicated by this blue icon, so I have access to all the settings. These are your preset settings. I'm going to make my own setting. I'm going to start by going with inches. I'm going to skip the canvas because the canvas size is actually going to change as I manipulate these binding finish size settings. So I want to finalize the canvas settings after I get this established. Now I want to start my projects with a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I can, you know, choose the template and then make any changes I want. So I'm going to start with that. I want the finish size to be 8 by 10.5 and I want the bleed width to be 10. And I want the default border to be 7.75 by 10.25. Now you may have noticed that the canvas size actually changed while I was entering these numbers down here and that's because Clip Studio is simply adjusting itself automatically just so that you have enough room for these basic dimensions. I'm going to specify my own exact dimensions and you can only do that adequately once you've got these set in stone because every time you change the draft settings the canvas settings will change accordingly according to Clip Studio's logic. So now that I'm done with the draft settings now I'll lock in the canvas settings and that's just going to be eight and a half by eleven. Resolution of six hundred is good. I want to work in color and I'm going to change the paper color. I think I want to change this to 119, yeah. I want to go for sort of the that sort of natural paper color. So I want to go with something like something like this. Okay, that's what I want. Those are the only settings I'm really concerned with right now, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to call it print. So I want to make sure I retain these attributes for the template. Okay. Now, that's I'm calling that print because this is a 600 resolution 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. What I want to do now is make one for pixels. So the resolution doesn't matter. I want the paper color the same. Binding and border, all of that stuff can be the same and bleed with. All of this stuff can just be the same. I just want to make sure that this one is specifically for digital. The point of having two templates like this is just to remind me that I have to think about what my final output is going to be. So let's open this one and let's just paint some white on it. I just want to show you this is this is why I like this sort of a natural beigey color because sometimes when you work with a stark white canvas and you're making cartoons and stuff you'll you might forget to paint eyeballs and things like that. And now let's see get a pencil here and draw okay so now I have these templates and uh, I can just go and choose I want the print one that's going to be at 600 dpi or I want the digital one that's going to be 5100 by 6600 pixels they're both going to be basically the same but the the key of course here is if I want to make this you know uh, bigger like 7500 pixels I can do that um, you know I can change anything I want I'm just using these templates as starting points. 